Hi, in this video we have taken a question and with the help of this question we would like to understand how to deal with the question in which the numerator is substantially bigger and we need to find out the remainder with a denominator that is such as 9, 10, 12, 15, things like that. So here we have a question that 25 to the power 135 when divided by 9 then what is the remainder? So to answer this question we need to just understand a very very basic thing first. For example if we asked a question that what is the remainder when a plus b squared is divided by a right uh, once i'm done with this concept i think you will understand how to apply it in this particular question so we can say that the remainder in this particular case will be same as the remainder when a square plus b square plus 2ab is divided by a right which can also be written as the remainder when a square is divided by a plus the remainder when b square is divided by a plus the remainder when 2ab is divided by a but let's understand one thing when a square is divided by a the remainder is 0 because a square is divisible by a similarly when 2ab is divided by a the remainder is 0 because the numerator is again divisible by the denominator completely that means this particular question gets translated into the remainder when b square is divided by a that's one thing let's quickly reapply this in another context for example if we were to find out the remainder when a plus b whole cube is to be divided by a we will apply the same thing the remainder a plus b whole cube has property a cube plus b cube plus 3ab a plus b when this part is divided by divisor a but now we understand that this part leaves us remainder 0 because it is a multiple of a this part will also leave us the remainder 0 because this is a multiple of a here that means the result of this question will be same as the remainder when simply b cube is divided by a so whenever we have a bigger number we break it into two parts one part that is divisible by the divisor and second part that is not divisible by the divisor which is the remainder part so here when 25 is divided by 9 we see 18 is divisible so when 25 is divided by 9 9 into 2 is 18 and we are left with 7 so we can write this question also as remainder when 18 plus 7 is divided by to the power 135 is divided by 9 and this question becomes same as the remainder when 7 to the power 135 is divided by 9 because the numerator has any part that is divisible by denominator is completely redundant for finding out the remainder so this becomes our question now to answer this question we now once again have to think about the simple cyclicity principle and we have to find out that where are we finding out the repetition in the remainders so i'll quickly do a small exercise that remainder when 7 is divided by 9 7 to the power 1 is divided by 9 the remainder is 7 we could also say that the remainder is minus 2 because positive 7 means we have 7 in excess or we have 2 short so i'm writing the positive and negative remainder at the same time so that we can quickly reach to the next step now remainder when 7 is squared is divided by 9 49 is divided by 9 is leaving us remainder 4 or we can say that the remainder is also negative 5 because either that is 4 greater or 5 short if to be a multiple of 9 right now the next is we can once again take the cube now 7 cube is difficult it's 343 but we can simply multiply 7 both sides and then get the next step that means if we multiply 7 on the left side we get 7 cube on the right side when we multiply 7 7 into 4 becomes 28 and 28 when divided by 9 leaves us remainder 1. Whenever we get this remainder 1 understand that now the repetition has to start coming into picture because if you multiply 7 both sides then the remainder on the right side will be 7 that means the first step. So let me just quickly write it if you multiply 7 here on both sides what do we get the remainder when 7 cube when 7 to the power 4 is divided by 9 is again 7. That means now we can generalize that we have got the cyclicity of the remainders as 3 after every 3 powers the remainders are repeating. Now we have to reach to the power 135 here. So let's quickly divide 135 by 3 and see what is the remainder that we are left with. So the remainder is 0 because 135 is completely divisible by 3. So we have to want when we keep counting the powers for example power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 135th power will come at the last step. That means the remainder when 25 
to the power 135 divided by 9 will be equal to 1 and so the answer to this question will be option E. Right? So that's how we find out if it were 136 then 136 divided by 3 would have left the remainder 1 that means the first step of the cycle the first step of the cycle would have given us the remainder 7. So that way we keep finding out the remainder using the cyclicity but before that we just needed to understand this small basic to translate the bigger numerator into the smaller one. I am sure that was helpful. Thank you so much.